Hello everybody, this is Teresa Swan and I just wanted to show you this book I bought after going to a health event with Clive de Cole and he recommended this book. He told us that the event I went to about this Japanese scientist or doctor that did these experiments with water and he realised that water reacts to bad words and loving words and there's lots of tips in this book about how you can energize water one of which is to put crystals around your water jug or your glass and I did used to put the rose quartz in the water but in this book it says about putting them round it and it said the point of the crystal towards the water so I've also got one on the other side, this nice big rose quartz. I've got to use my two big is ones, so to put pour love into the water. And I've got this amethyst and this tiger's eye. Not for any particular reason, just because I like them. So I put these to energise the water around it. But also what I do is, is I do this. I've got a bit of kitchen towel because it often gets wet. And I've written all these words over it to fill the water with love, joy health, happiness, because if I wrote on here horrible words like hate, anger, cruelty, despise, this would actually change the water into a much, much worse composition than it is. So by doing this, I'm filling this water, it may not look any different to you or to me with our naked eyes, we, when it's on lovely words or nothing or on bad words or you're cursing the water but under a microscope it looks very different it looks totally different so by putting words of love under it you create a much much better happier water in simple terms so the, which proves about everything the way we talk to things the way we talk to ourselves to our water it reacts to it so the same with yourself talk to yourself with kind words you feel much better your food talk to your food your dinner as you're preparing if you're cooking dinner and you're filled full of anger all that anger and that hate is going into your food isn't it so you must be very careful about the way you talk to your water and to your food that's going in you I also use many herbs uh, through, not through the day, I tend to take them at night time actually. I use, I use this ashwagandha because this is incredible for the uh, adrenal glands and especially when you're going through stressful times. And it's very good for the thyroid gland that I've got problems with, an, anti, sorry, an underactive thyroid I've had for 20 years. I take these. When I feel I need them, digestives complex because they say as we get older 